हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय वीडियो ऑफ इमरजेंसी सो टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द इमरजेंसी दैट वाज इम्पोज इन इंडिया इन द ईयर नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव सो द इमरजेंसी इन इंडिया वाज अ ट्वेंटी वन मंथ पीरियड फ्रॉम नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव टू नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सेवन दैट मीन्स द पीरियड वॉज इम्पोज फॉर टू ईयर्स when prime minister indira gandhi had a state of emergency declared across the country so officially issued by president fakhruddin ali ahmed under article 352 so you know that article 352 deals with emergency of india of the constitution because of prevailing internal disturbance the emergency was in effect from 25 june 1975 to its withdrawal on 21 march 1977 uh, so the order bestowed upon the prime minister the authority to rule by decree allowing elections to be cancelled and civil liberties to be suspended for much of emergency most of gandhi's political opponents were imprisoned imprisoned and the press was sen- censored several other human right violations were reported from the time including mass campaign for vasectomy uh, superheated uh, superheaded by her own son uh, sanjay gandhi the emergency is one of the most controversial periods of indian history okay so um, so uh, Uh, uh so since the independence the final decision to impose emerg- an emergency was proposed by indira gandhi agreed upon by president of india so indira gandhi has imp- had imposed emergency but it was agreed upon by president of india and ratified by the cabinet so cabinet ratified that and the parliament from july to august 1975 so four bodies were involved first was the prime minister indira gandhi then president agreed it and it was ratified by cabinet and the parliament on june july to august 1975 it was based on the rational that there were imminent internal and external threats to the indian state okay so basically we will be dividing our contents into rise of indira gandhi then proclamation administration criticism and the legacy that it had left behind so uh, so basically uh, the emergency was imposed uh, before understanding the how emergency of was imposed we have to know how indira gandhi uh, served during her uh, when she was the prime minister of india so between 1967 and 1971 lal bahadur shastri had uh, resigned uh, had recently died the prime minister indira gandhi came to obtain near absolute control over the government and the indian national congress party as well as a huge majority in parliament so the first the first was achieved by concentrating the central government's power within the prime minister's secretariat rather than the cabinet whose elected members she saw as a threat and distrusted for this she relied on her principal secretary p n haksar a central figure in india indra's inner circle of advisors so further haksar promoted the idea of a committed bureaucracy that required hitherto impartial government officials to be committed to the ideology of ruling party of the day so within congress indra so indra uh, ruthlessly out maneuvered her rivals okay uh, forcing the party to split in 1969 so the congress got split in the year 1969 and into congress o and congress r so congress o was called the old guard so o so it was called syndicate and r okay a majority of the all india congress 
कमेटी एज यू कैन सी इन दिस लाइट एंड द कांग्रेस एम पी साइडेड विद द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इंदिराज पार्टी वॉज ऑफ अ डिफरेंट ब्रीड फ्रॉम द कांग्रेस ऑफ द ओल्ड विच हैड बीन अ रोबस्ट इंस्टीट्यूशन ओके विद ट्रेडिशंस ऑफ इंटरनल डेमोक्रेसी नाउ कांग्रेस आर ऑन द अदर हैंड मेम्बर्स क्विकली रियलाइज डेट देयर प्रोग्रेस विद इन द रैंक्स डिपेंडेंट सोली ऑन द लॉयल्टी ऑफ इंदिरा गांधी एंड अर फैमिली एन ऑस्टेंटेशियस डिस्प्लेस ऑफ साइकोफेंसी बिकेम रूटीन इन द कमिंग ईयर्स इंदिराज इन्फ्लुएंस वॉज सच दैट शी कुड इंस्टॉल हैंड पिक लॉयलिस्ट एज चीफ मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ स्टेट्स रैदर देन दे आर बींग इलेक्टेड बाई द कांग्रेस लेजिस्लेटिव पार्टी सो इंदिराज गांधीज पावर वॉज स्लोली इंक्रीजिंग इंदिराज एसेंट वॉज बैक्ड बाई हर कैरिजमेटिक अपील सो शी हैड अ वेरी कैरिजमेटिक अपील अमॉन्ग द मासिस दैट वॉज एडेड बाई द गवर्नमेंट्स नियर रेडिकल लेफ्ट वर्ड टर्न्स दीज इंक्लूडेड द जुलाई नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन रैशनलाइजेशन ऑफ सेवरल मेजर बैंक्स एंड द सेप्टेम्बर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एबोल्यूशन ऑफ प्राइवी पर्स दिस चेंजेस वेर ऑफन डन सडनली बाय ऑर्डिनेंस टू द शॉक ऑफ अर ओपोनेंट्स शी हैड स्ट्रॉन्ग सपोर्ट इन द डिसएडवाटेज सेक्शंस द पुअर दलित वुमेन एंड माइनॉरिटीज इंदिरा वॉज सीन एज अ स्टैंडिंग सोशलिज्म इन इकोनॉमिक्स एंड सेक्युलरिज्म इन मैटर्स ऑफ रिलीजन एज बींग प्रो पुअर एंड फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द नेशन एज अ होल ओके सो इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन जनरल इलेक्शंस यू नो दैट इट वॉज हेल्ड द पीपल रैलीड बिहाइंड इंदिराज पॉप्युलिस्ट स्लोगन गरीबी हटाओ दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू एबोलिश पॉवर्टी to to award her a huge majority 352 seats out of 518 so 352 seats she won out of 518 that is like humongous okay by the margin of its victory historian ramchandra guha okay so you have the uh, you some of you might have the, his book so he he is a good writer and he writes history books later wrote congress r came to be known as a real congress okay requiring no qualifying suffix so in december 1971 under her provocative war leadership indra routed arc enemy pakistan in a war that led to the independence of bangladesh okay so 1971 war you know no it was also sh- uh, shown in border movie where Sun- uh, sunny deol has played the role of kuldeep singh changpuri formerly east pakistan awarded by awarded the bharat ratna next month she was at as at her greatest peak so in exam the question is asked that is has the bharat ratna been awarded to indira gandhi so answer would be yes and is not posthumous posthumous or whatever you say for her biographer indar malhotra the economist description of her as the empress of india so she was getting such a popularity that now people had decided to call her the empress of india even oppo opposition leaders who routinely accused her of being a dictator okay and of fostering of a personality cult referred to her as durga so she was become so popular that people resembled her to the famous personality called durga who was a hindu goddess goddess now we will discuss the next topic that is increasing government control of the judiciary okay so how the government's control over judiciary uh in hindi judiciary is called nyay palika so how in government's control of judiciary was increasing okay see most of my information has been taken from wikipedia so if you have any issues you can go and have a read okay so but uh, overall i would be explaining it so in 1967 golkanath case okay the supreme court said that the constitution could not be amended by the parliament so there was this case called golkanath golkanath golak golak golaknath case sorry it said that the supreme the constitution cannot be amended by the parliament if the changes affect basic issues such as fundamental rights to nullify this judgment parliament dominated by the indira gandhi congress passed the 24th amendment of 1971 so indira gandhi did not like the judgment 
सो शी लाइक पार्लियामेंट डॉमिनेटेड बाय इंदिरा गांधी कांग्रेस दे पास द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अमेंडमेंट एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन सो इन एग्जाम यू नो दैट फोर्टी सेकेंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वॉज कॉल्ड एज दी नाइन मिनी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट वॉज पास इन दर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स सो इन फाइव इयर्स यू नो हाउ मनी एटीन नाइनटीन अमेंडमेंट्स हैव बीन पास सिमिलरली आफ्टर द गवर्नमेंट लॉस्ट अ सुप्रीम कोर्ट केस फॉर विदड्रॉइंग द प्राइवी पर्स गिवन टू द अर्स वाइल प्रिंसेस सो वैन सरदार पटेल इंटीग्रेटेड द प्रिंसली स्टेट्स फाइव फोर्टी फाइव प्रिंसली स्टेट्स ही प्रोमिस दो स्टेट्स दैट प्राइवी पर्स वुड बी गिवन टू दैम सो इन दैट कॉन्टेक्सट ओनली आफ्टर द गवर्नमेंट लॉस्ट अ सुप्रीम कोर्ट केस फॉर विदड्रॉइंग द प्राइवी पर्स गिवन टू द अर्स वाइल प्रिंसेस पार्लियामेंट पास द ट्वेंटी सिक्स अमेंडमेंट This gave constitutional validity to the government's abolition of privy purse and nullified the Supreme Court's order. Okay, then the judiciary executive battle would continue in the landmark case one and the Bharti case, where the twenty fourth amendment was called into question. Okay, so in case one and the Bharti case, the twenty fourth amendment was said that it is a very weak one and we weak one and we need to amend it again so with a wafer thin majority of 7 is to 6 the bench of supreme court restricted parliament's amendment power by stating that it could not be used to alter the basic structure of the constitution so there was this case one and the bharti case you know no where it said that it was versus the state of kerala and it happened in the same day when sachin tendulkar was started in the was born that is 24 april 1973 so keswanand bharti case was to a conclusion that, that there are certain parts in the constitution that can be amendment amended and there are certain parts of the constitution that cannot be amend, amended okay so basically that was the final settlement with respect to the case one and the bharti case so subsequently prime minister made a n r the senior most judge amongst those in the majority in case one and the bharti okay so one question just for your knowledge i want to tell that when is the word among and when is the word amongst gets used so amongst is used when there are more than two persons okay but among is used used between two persons for example there are three persons okay a b c so we can say that ram is the most intelligent amongst the the three but if we say that there are two persons say x and y we will say that ram is more intelligent among the two so there is a difference between amongst and among but it would not be asked in your exam so let's move forward so ray superseded three judges more senior to him j m shelat k s h and grover all members of the majority in case one and the bharti indira gandhi tendency to control the judiciary met with the uh severe criticism both from the press and political opponents such as jay prakash narayan narayan then let us move on to the next uh, this one topic that is political unrest so this led some congress party leaders to demand a move towards a presidential system emergency declaration with more power directly uh, elected executive with a more power full directly elected executive so you know no that in usa we have the presidential system and the power uh, and the elected executive that is at present joe, uh, joe biden is more pow- very powerful okay so the most significant of the initial such movement was the nav nirman movement in gujarat so exam a question might be asked that where nav nirman movement took place so basically it is it took place in the state of gujarat between december 1973 and march 1974 so like like 48 50 years before ha huh? student unrest against the state we are reading about the political unrest that took place before emergency okay so st- with regards to that, that students unrest again uh, students student unrest against the state education minister untimely forced the central government to dissolve the state legislature leading to the resignation of chief minister 
चमन भाई पटेल एंड द इम्पोजिशन ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट्स रूल मीन वाइल देयर वेर एसासीनेशन अटैम्प्ट ऑन पब्लिक लीडर्स एज वेल एज द एसासीनेशन ऑफ रेलवे मिनिस्टर ओके ललित नारायण मिश्रा बाय बॉम्ब सो दिस मिनिस्टर वॉज देयर इन दी ईयर एंड ऑफ सेवेंटी थ्री एंड सेवेंटी फोर ही वॉज लाइक एसासीनेटेड मीन्स किल्ड इन अ बॉम्ब ब्लास्ट सो दैट इज नॉट गुड सो पोलिटिकल अनरेस्ट वॉज गेटिंग क्रिएटेड all of this indicated a growing law and order problem in the entire country no which mrs gandhi advisers warned her her for months okay so the advisers were telling that the, uh, the before like in 73 because during that time indira gandhi has had already served her prime ministership for 3 to 4 years no so that is why all the people were like getting um, uh, aware that or were continuously telling the advisers that the situation of the country is not good so what happened in march april 1974 a student agitation by the bihar chhatra sangharsh samiti okay received the support of gandhian socialist jay prakash narayan referred to as jp okay you know no and given in ncert jay prakash narayan against the bihar movement you might not know so he led uh, a movement against the congress uh, in from bihar and he marched till, till delhi so in uh, april april 1974 in patna okay jp jp means jay prakash narayan called for total revolution so in exam if a question comes who gave the term total revolution so answer would be jp okay जय प्रकाश नारायण सो टूडे इन टू डेज यस्टरडे आई वॉज वॉचिंग अ मैच लाइक थ्री फोर डेज बिफोर इंडिया एंड न्यूजीलैंड आफ्टर द वर्ल्ड कप ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो सूर्य कुमार यादव इज कॉल्ड स्काई सो इन दैट कॉन्टेक्सट ओनली यू कैन रिमेंबर जय प्रकाश नारायण एज जे पी ओके आस्किंग सो ही आर स्टूडेंट्स पीजेंट्स पीजेंट्स मीन्स फार्मर्स लाइक फार्मर्स एंड लेबर यूनियन टू नॉन वायलेंटली ट्रांसफॉर्म इंडियन सोसाइटी he also demanded the dissolution of state government okay so he demanded the dissolution of state government but this was not accepted by the center because after all he was a ordinary minister okay so how can the center accept his recommendations directly so uh, but he continued to protest hmm. so a month later the railway employees union the largest union union in the country went on a nationwide railway strike hmm. the strike was led by the firebent trade union congress union leader george fernandes who was the president of all india railway men's federation he was the president of socialist party the strike was brutally suppressed okay by indira gandhi government which arrested thousands of employees and drove their families out of quarters so this was some people say that it was uh, not a good step taken by uh, indira gandhi so then we will know about let's will not say about raj narayan okay so he was defeated in 1971 parliamentary elections by indira gandhi and he lodged cases of election fraud and used state machinery for election purposes against allahabad high court but that is not uh, very important so let us move to the next topic that is preventive detention law as you can see in this slide so before the emergency the indira gandhi government passed draconian laws which would be used to arrest political opponents before and during emergency one of this was maintenance of internal security act okay so you heard the uh, this act misa misa so it was an act of 1971 so for example if a question on security comes because internal security is a part of gs3 syllabus for mains so if a question on internal security comes so you can always write that about misa misa maintenance of internal security act of 1971 which was passed in may 1971 despite criticism from prominent opposition figures across partisan lines such as cpim janasang atal bihari vajpay and uh, vajpay jansang and the anglo indian dominate nominated mp frank anthony 
the indira gandhi government also renewed the defense india rules okay so we are talking about preventive detention laws no so indira gandhi so indira indira gandhi was considered to be one of the most courageous prime minister she was even compared to razia sultana who was the first maybe female head of india ever because and we are talking about 13th century no the daughter of iltutmish uh, of slave dynasty okay so she she was compared so she also renewed the defense india of india rules which was withdrawn in 1967 hmm so defense rules did not last that long and it was withdrawn in the year 1977 defense of india rules were given an expanded mandate 5 days into the emergency and renamed as defense and internal security of india rules another law conservation of foreign exchange and prevention of smuggling activities act कोफे पोसा ओके सो कोफे पोसा अगेन आई एम लाइक इलेबोरेटिंग ऑन दी शॉर्ट स्टेटमेंट कोफे पोसा इज कंजर्वेशन ऑफ फॉरिन एक्सचेंज एंड प्रिवेंशन ऑफ स्मगलिंग एक्टिविटीज सो इट वॉज पास इन दिन इन डिसम्बर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर वॉज ऑल्सो फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज टू टारगेट ओपोनेंट्स ओके सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू so basically we are talking about how emergency came to being in the year 1975 that was imposed in the month of june 25th june 1975 so so now let's come to the point of proclamation of emergency so so you know uh, so the so now we have reached 1973 so government cited threats to national security as a war with pakistan had recently been concluded definitely 1971 bangladesh war you know so due to the war in additional challenges of drought and the 1973 oil crisis okay the economy was in poor condition we did not have much money because all the monies were spent in countering oil problem and uh, the buying defense instruments from Uh, the uh, from uh, to fight against pakistan also we had the 1962 china war okay 1965 pakistan war so basically so many wars are taking place how will the economy of the country will be uh, be able to survive the government claimed that the strikes and protests had paralyzed the government and hurt the economy of the country greatly in the face of massive political opposition desertion and disorder across the country and the party gandhi stuck to the advice of a few loyalists and her younger son sanjay gandhi whose own power had grown considerably over the last few years to become an extra constitutional authority siddharth shankar re who was the chief minister west bengal then proposed the prime minister to impose an internal emergency so this was uh, there was this uh, chief minister uh, siddharth shankar re so he uh, means proposed like requested or something like that that the prime minister that means indira gandhi uh, in the indira gandhi to impose internal emergency so he what he did he drafted a letter to the president to issue the proclamation based on information indira gandhi had received that there is an imminent danger of the security of india being threatened by internal disturbances so he means siddharth shankar re showed how democratic freedom could be suspended while remaining within the ambit of the constitution so he basically is said to give courage to the prime minister and later on you know what happened after resolving the procedural matter president fakhruddin ali ahmed declared a state of internal emergency okay so internal emergency upon the prime minister's advice on the night of 25th june 1975 just a few minutes before the clock struck midnight hmm so basically 26th of june as the constitution requires mrs gandhi advised and president ahmed approved so who was the president then faa fakhruddin ali fakhruddin ali ahmed approved the continuation of emergency over every 6 months until she decided to hold elections in 1977 okay so it lasted for two like uh, years 
similarly like the covid pandemic we had no it also lasted for almost two years like nobody was coming out of their homes going out so basically emergency lies there like that only so you know what happens no every state's gdp will country gdp will go down there will won't be sur- uh, sufficient production so those kind of consequences will be facing that is why even narendra modi government had to like resign out of the lockdown completely similarly in 1976 parliament voted to delay elections okay something it could do only with the constitution suspended by emergency so this shows that the economy of india is pathetic okay so now let's get to the next topic that is administration during emergency hmm. and before and during emergency so indira gandhi devised a 20 point economic program 20 p ep it is called 20 point economic program to increase the agriculture and industrial production improve public services and fight poverty and illiteracy illiteracy sorry miss for the mispronunciation illiteracy through the discipline of the graveyard okay like graveyard no everyone goes in the graveyard no so they can't dance there ha huh? so basically when they impose uh, like uh, put off the dead body basically they are very serious okay so that is called the discipline of the graveyard in addition to the official 20 points okay sanjay gandhi declared his five point program promoting literacy family planning tree planting eradication of casteism and abolition of dowry so if you write this kind of answer in mains definitely you will be getting lot of marks okay so sanjay gandhi declared five point program so 20 point was economic program was uh, declared by indira gandhi and five point by sanjay gandhi who was the son other son you know no the name rahul gandhi who later became the prime minister of india and he was and uh, like uh, ltt was the like uh, organization like the militant group that killed him so sanjay gandhi declared his five point program so first was literacy second family planning tree planting and eradication of casteism and abolition of dowry okay no dowry caste no casteism tree planting family planning literacy later during the emergency the two projects merged into 25 point program so jo dono pro, pro, like dono jo projects the in log ko add kar diya gaya aur ultimately 25 ek 5 point program devise kar diya gaya so that was the basically um uh, basically administration okay then uh, let's talk about the arrests okay so invoking articles 352 so you know the article 352 is national emergency no and 356 is state emergency 360 is financial emergency each uh, everyone you guys might know and you definitely should know it is mostly asked in state pcs exams so financial emergency has never been imposed even once in india but national emergency has been imposed three times and state emergency many times that is article 356 so let us talk about the arrests so basically invoking articles 352 and 356 of the indian constitution indira gandhi granted her sir extraordinary powers okay and launched a massive crackdown on civil rights and political opposition the government used police forces across the country to place thousands of protesters and strike leaders under preventive detention vijay raje sindhya jay prakash narayan raj narayan morarji desai charan singh जीवत राम कृपालिनी अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी लाल कृष्ण अडवाणी अरुण जेटली जय किशन गुप्ता सत्येंद्रनाथ सिन्हा गायत्री देवी द द दोगर क्वीन ऑफ जयपुर एंड दी प्रोटेस्ट लीडर्स वर इमीडिएटली अरेस्टेड सो दिस लीडर्स आर नाउ इन जेल organizations like the rashtriya swayamsevak sangh that you call rss and jamat e islami along with some political parties were banned cpim leaders vs achutanandan and jyotirmoy basu were arrested along with many others involved in the party 
Congress leaders who dissented against the emergency declara declaration and amendment to the constitution such as Mohan Dharia and Chandra Shekhar resigned from the government and party positions and were thereafter arrested and placed under the detention members of regional opposition parties such as DMK also found themselves arrested so you can see that there are lot of arrests going on okay to control basically to control okay most of these arrests happened under such laws such as misa okay so my question is to you that imagine you being the prime minister during uh, 1975 june before or on june 25 uh, so my question to you is if you had been the prime minister during that time would you have imposed emergency then सो so, क्या आप इमरजेंसी लगाते अगर आप उस टाइम प्राइम मिनिस्टर होते तो बेसिकली ये क्वेश्चन है जो आप लोग को सोच विचार करना चाहिए और बेसिकली विथ टाइम बेसिकली अगर इट डिपेंड्स ऑन पर्सन टू पर्सन की कि मतलब आप प्राइम मिनिस्टर होते तो क्या आप इमरजेंसी लगवाते so basically this is the question you must ponder upon so most of these arrests happened under laws such as misa dcir and kofe Co posa i told you know during the emergency 34988 people were arrested under misa misa and 75818 people were arrested under disir this included both political prisoners and ordinary criminals So, okay so criminals they are telling they can be ordinary humans also because they there cannot be 75000 criminals okay so most states classified those arrested under misa into multiple categories okay so now the people are arrested no the 34988 people that have been arrested they have been classified into various categories let us take an example for example in andhra pradesh andhra pradesh so that times under andhra pradesh was uh, little bigger than present days because you know that on 24th uh, 2014 uh, telangana broke out of andhra pradesh and so basically in andhra pradesh they were classified into three categories class a class b and class c hmm okay class a prisoners included prominent political leaders members of parliament members of ally that means legislative assemblies class b prisoners included less prominent prisoners and class c included those detained for economic offenses and other offenses okay the lowest category they put uh, they had put them under class c so class c and class b prisoners were treated better and received better amenities in prison other than categories of prisoners those arrested under kofe posa and disr depending on the state found themselves detained with ordinary criminals as class c or their own separate category cases like the baroda dynamite case and the rajan case became exceptional examples of atrocities committed against civilians in independent india so this was not good on behalf of indira gandhi okay so next uh, few more slides left two three slides left so now let's talk about the laws human rights and elections okay so elections for the parliament and state governments were postponed definitely there is emergency how will you like go in election because you cannot go out of your homes or you cannot take strict stringent me measures gandhi and her parliamentary major majorities gandhi means indira gandhi here not mahatma gandhi and um, jawahar lal nehru or राजीव गांधी और राहुल गांधी और सोनिया गांधी तो इन गांधी एंड हर पार्लियामेंट्री मेजोरिटीज बिकॉज इट इज हर नो कुड राइट द नेशंस लॉज सिंस हर कांग्रेस पार्टी हैड द रिक्वायर्ड मैंडेट टू डू सो नाउ इंदिरा गांधी हैड फुल पास ओके अ टू थर्ड्स मेजोरिटी इन द पार्लियामेंट ओके सो दिस वॉज हर पावर एंड वेन शी फेल्ट द एग्जिस्टिंग लॉज वेट टू स्लो and when she felt that the existing laws were too slow she got in the president to issue ordinances ordinances means a law making power in times of emergency invoked sparingly okay not completely sparingly means 
इन ब्रोकन पीसेस स्लोली स्लोली छोटे छोटे टुकड़ों में सो दैट इज़ पैरिंगली कम्प्लीटली बाईपासिंग दी पार्लियामेंट अलाउिंग हर टू रूल बाई अ रूल बाई डिक्री ऑल्सो शी हैड लिटल ट्रबल अमेंडिंग दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दैट एग्जोनेरेटेड हर फ्रॉम एनी कल्पेबिलिटी इन हर इलेक्शन फ्रॉड केस इम्पोजिंग प्रेसिडेंट्स रूल इन गुजरात एंड तमिलनाडु वेर एंटी इंदिरा पार्टीज रूल ओके सो यू नो दैट वेन इमरजेंसी इज इम्पोज लाइक स्टेट्स पावर इज गॉन इट इज इट बिकम स्वाहा ओके सो बेसिकली देन एंटी इंदिरा पार्टीज वेर देर इन गुजरात एंड तमिलनाडु then also she imposed emergency state legislatures were thereby dissolved and suspended indefinitely and jailing thousands of opponents now the 42nd amendment act that is called the mini constitution because many amendments took place which brought about extensive changes to the letter and spirit of constitution is one of the lasting legacies of emergency in the conclusion of his making indra constitution india's constitution justice khanna writes in the indian constitution If the Indian Constitution is our heritage, bequeathed to us by our founding fathers, no less are we, the people of India, the trustees and the custodians of the values which pulsate within the provisions. A constitution is not a parchment of paper; it is a way of life and has to be lived up to. Eternal violence is the price of liberty, and the final analysis, its only keepers are the people. The imbe. Sility of man, history teaches us always invites the impudence of power. So this Justice Khanna he wrote like the, what emergency had done to the people of India. So a fallout of the emergency era was the Supreme Court laid down that although the Constitution is amenable to the amendments, changes in tinker changes that tinker with basic structure cannot be made. By the Parliament, Case One and the Bharati by the State of Kerala, twenty fourth April nineteen hundred seventy three. So in the Rajan case, P Rajan was arrested by police in Kerala on first of March nineteen seventy six. So basically, I remember two thousand three first of March India Pakistan match of World Cup took place. So basically, you can remember it it by date. Tortured in custody until he died, and then his body was disposed and was never recovered. The facts of that incident came out owing to a habeas corpus suited filed in the Kerala High Court. Many cases where teens were arrested and imprisoned have come to light. One such example is Dilip Sharma, who aged sixteen was arrested and imprisoned for over eleven months. He was released based on Patna High Court's judgment on twenty nine July nineteen seventy six. So, basically, now let's move upon the criticisms that emergency had imposed, and was it really good? I don't think so. Sometimes I think it was good also, but I don't know. So, some criticisms and accusations from the emergency era may be grouped as. First was detention of people by police without charge or notification of families. So that is not good. Okay. Then there was abuse of abuse and torture of detainees and political prisoners. Use of public and private media institutions like the national television network Doordarshan for government propaganda. Then during the emergency, Sanjay Gandhi asked the popular singer singer Kishore Kumar to sing a Congress Party rally in Bombay, but he refused. Okay, so this is not good. You are like propagating this, this, this things. As a result, Information Broadcasting Minister. So every like Parliament has one Information and Broadcasting Minister. Okay, now also we have so during that time Vidya Charan Shukla. Put an unofficial bang on playing Kishore Kumar's songs on state broadcasters, All India Radio and Doordarshan from fourth May nineteen seventy six till the end of emergency. Then there was forced sterilization. Oh my God, that is very, uh, like, very pathetic. Destruction of slum and low income house in the Turkmen Gate and Jama Masjid area of Old Delhi. Large scale and illegal enactment of new laws, including modifications of the constitution. so you know this are the kind of implications that emergency emergency had imposed 
और इन सिंपल टर्म्स यू कैन से दैट दिज वर दी निगेटिव एस्पेक्ट्स और निगेटिव एफेक्ट्स ऑफ इमरजेंसी ओके देन देर वॉज रेजिस्टेंट मूवमेंट रेजिस्टेंस मूवमेंट दैट वॉज देन दैट इज डेमोक्रेसी बचाओ मोर्चा ओके इन अमृतसर एंड पीपल से दैट इंदिरा गांधी हु वॉज किल्ड सो इमरजेंसी वॉज वन ऑफ द मेजर रीजन्स वाई शी वॉज किल्ड बिकॉज सम पीपल डिड नॉट लाइक इट एट ऑल ओके देन देर वॉज आर एस एस रेजिस्टेंस ओके देन यू हैव अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी हु वॉज इन पुअर हेल्थ क्विकली रीच एन एग्रीमेंट विद इंदिरा गांधी एंड स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ द इमरजेंसी अंडर पैरोल ऑफ हिज रेजिस्टेंस जोनल आर एस एस लीडर्स एंड ऑथोराइज एकांत राम कृष्णा राना डे टू क्वाइटली एंटर इन टू डायलॉग विद इंदिरा गांधी सो लाइक सम पीपल से दैट इन अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी एंड इंदिरा गांधी है वेर वेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड्स एंड अदर अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी ऑलवेज एडमायर्ड इंदिरा गांधी अ लॉट ओके सो दिज वेर लाइक फ्यू थिंग्स देन यू हैड द रोल ऑफ सी पी आई एम वेर आइडेंटिफाइड ऑल ओवर इंडिया रेड्स वेर कंडक्टेड इन हाउस इज सस्पेक्टेड टू बी सिंपथेटिक ऑफ सी पी आई एम और द ओपोजिशन ऑफ इमरजेंसी हंड्रेड्स ऑफ कम्युनिस्ट वेदर फ्रॉम सी पी आई एम दैट इज सी कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी ऑफ इंडिया मार्क्सिस्ट वेन एवर आई सी सी पी आई एम इट इज कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी ऑफ इंडिया मार्क्सिस्ट और अदर मार्क्सिस्ट मार्क्सिस्ट पार्टीज और दी नेक्सलाइज नेक्सलाइट्स वेर अरेस्टेड ड्यूरिंग द इमरजेंसी सम वेर टॉर्चर्ड और एज इन केस ऑफ द केरला स्टूडेंट P. Rajan was killed. So after that, the elections happened in nineteen seventy seven. Okay. So on eighteen January, Gandhi called fresh elections in March and released several opposition leaders. Leaders, however, many remained in prison. Prison even after she left office, despite emergency officially on twenty first March nineteen seventy seven. Okay. So there were some prisoners who decided to stay in jail even after. like uh, the emergency had ended and they were released so that that shows their dedication and commitment towards being in jail and also towards the nation in a positive way because they mostly uh, uh, focused on changing the like the uh, condition of india in a positive way the opposition janta movement's campaign warned against the elections might be their last chance to choose between democracy and dictatorship The general election of nineteen seventy seven was held from sixteen to twenty March and resulted in a landslide victory of Janata Party because everyone was tired in emergency and they thought that this is not good because the economy of the state country is getting ruined and definitely we don't have corona virus no so in corona you are forced to stay at home but in emergency you are made to stay at home by the leadership of someone. so that is only said that the election 1971 general elections janta party secured 298 six in seats in lo lok sabha where as the indian national congress man managed to win only 154 so there was this gap of 198 as compared to ele uh, previous election indira gandhi herself was voted out of office in rai bareilly constituency losing to an electoral rival raj narayan by margin of 55000 votes that is big vote inc candidates failed to win a single seat in the constituencies of several northern states such as bihar and uttar pradesh the janata party in 298 seats were further augmented by an additional 47 seats won by various political allies thereby giving them a two third super majority morarji desai became the first non congress prime minister of india ओके सो मोरारजी देसाई वॉज द फर्स्ट नॉन कांग्रेस प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया सो इफ एन एग्जाम क्वेश्चन इज आज एज टू हु इज द फर्स्ट कांग्रेस नॉन नॉन कांग्रेस प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया डोंट से दैट इट इज अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी इट इज मोरारजी देसाई ओके द वोटर्स इन द इलेक्टोरियली लार्जेस्ट स्टेट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश हिस्टोरिकली अ कांग्रेस स्ट्रॉन्ग होल्ड टर्न अगेंस्ट गांधी एंड हर पार्टी सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इलेक्शन ऑफ नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सेवन ओके देन वील मूव टू द ट्रिब्यूनल लीगेसी कल्चर एंड देन विल एंड द लाइक द डिस्कशन सो सो हिस्टोरिकली टर्न अगेंस्ट गांधी ओके इन उत्तर प्रदेश एंड द पार्टी फेल टू विन अ सिंगल सीट इन स्टेट सो 
the discontent against the government included the emergence of strong and united opposition disunity and wariness inside congress and effective underground opposition and the ineffectiveness of gandhi's control of the mass media which had lost much credibility the structural factors the structural factors so the structural factors allowed voters to express their grievances notably their resentment of the emergency and its author authoritarian and repressive policies one grievance often mentioned was the nasbandi vasectomy campaign in rural areas the middle classes also emphasized the curbing of freedom throughout the state of india meanwhile congress hit an all time low so basically once an activity or event is done basically we always see that the effects of that activity tend to remain for a long period of time so basically emergency completely destroyed the economy of the india india in some very ways okay so basically even if the party gets changed it will take some time to recover that although i am not saying that emergency completely destroyed it gave rise to new ideas and like thomas alva edison has said that when he failed to make the bulb for thousand times he said that i have known that i have learnt 1000 ways through which i cannot make the my uh, i made make the bulb so basically it gave rise to new ideas that is also another part of it so the emergency declared had both positive and negative factors so the structural so basically i am just uh, conveying the information that is conveyed upon me by wikipedia and other uh, sources on google so the structural factors allowed voters to express their grave grievances notably their resentment to the emergency and its authoritarian repressive policies authoritarian repressive policies the middle class is also emphasize on curbing freedom of th freedom throughout the state and india meanwhile congress hit all time low in west bengal because of poor discipline and factionism among congress activities as well as the numerous defections that weakened the party the opponents emphasize the issue of corruption in congress and appeal a deep desire by the voters for fresh leadership then okay so after that let us move to the tribunal the efforts of janta administration to get government officials and congress politicians tried for emergency era abuses and crimes were largely unsuccessful due to disorganized over complex politically motivated process of litigation the 38th amendment of the constitution of india put in place place sorry <laughs> for mispronunciation in place shortly after the outset of the emergency and which among other things prohibited judicial reviews of states of emergencies and actions taken during them also likely played a role in the lack of success although special tribunals were organized and scores of senior congress party and government officials arrested and charged including mrs gandhi and sanjay gandhi police were unable to submit sufficient evidence from most cases and only a few low level officials were convicted of any abuses but now let's move on to the legacy like the emergency some people think emergency is really bad but there were few positives also okay so the emergency lasted for 21 months 21 months is like just less than 2 years little bit less than 2 years and legacy remains intensely controversial so a few days after emergency was imposed the bombay edition the times of india so the bombay edition of the times carried an obituary ob obituary obituary that read democracy beloved husband of truth loving father of liberty brother of faith hope and justice expired on june 26 so he said the democracy expired democracy was which was the beloved husband of truth loving father of liberty brother of faith hope and justice it expired on june 26 so basically the times of india of bombay is saying that the emergency was very bad in simple terms a few days later censorship was imposed on newspapers hmm the delhi edition of indian express so basically if you are preparing for upsc you have to read indian express some people read hindu but most of the people read hindu only so the delhi edition of the indian express on june 28 carried a blank editorial while the financial express reported a large type rabindranath tagore's poem where the mind is without fear so basically this poem 
was expressed in that however the emergency also received a support from several sections it was endorsed by social reformer vinoba bhave who called it anush anush anushasan parv okay so it was a festival where discipline was so shown a time for discipline basically industry industrialist j r d tata writer khushwant singh and indira gandhi's close friend and odisha chief minister nandini satpathi however tata and satpathi later regretted that they spoke in favor of emergency so basically if you see that emergency most of the people were dissatisfied with emergency and that was the main reason why indira gandhi lost the 1977 elections no so basically you can see the discontent and frustration amongst among the people of india so in the book jp movement and emergency historian bipan chandra so you have might have read his book okay history book wrote sanjay gandhi and his cronies like bansi lal minister of defense at that time were keen on postponing elections and prolonging the emergency by several years in october november 1976 an effort was made to change the basic civil uh, civil uh, liber uh, liber tarian structure of the indian constitution through 42nd amendment act so the 42nd amendment why so many amendments you have to make it is called mini constitution for example if you are a person okay i cut your hand i cut your leg i cut your nose i cut your eyes i cut your uh, uh, nails so basically what would remain so that is amendment no you are doing amendment to your body definitely if, why so many amendments so if amendment was the need of the world then why did india like uh, uh, rely upon writing the constitution from 1946 to 1949 that took 2 years 11 months and 18 days so that was a question that was to be answered and you know that till date we don't have the answer okay the most important changes were designed to the strengthen the executive at the cost of judiciary so this you can say that would be the positive of implementing emergency was that the basic purpose of implementing emergency was to strengthen judiciary at the cost of uh, strengthen executive okay that is karya palika at the cost of judiciary that is nyay palika and if you know legislature it is called vidhayika no and disturb the carefully crafted system of constitutional check, checks and balances between the three organs of the government okay in culture so basically in literature there were many poems and like novels written like the great novel of 1989 shashi tharur novel a fine balance by rohin tan mistri then there were you know, foreign writers also such salman rashid midnight children was a book booker prize winner and then wo, uh, india a wounded civilization by v s naip paul also oriented around the emergency then there was in malayalam language the delhi gadha kal tales of delhi gadha means you know gadha means gadha okay brutus u so basically a julius caesar or a william shakespeare book by chanakya sen is based on internal politics of jawahar lal nehru so these were the books written during because basically you can relate to the corona pandemic of 19 2019 21 where people have uh, don't have time they are at home and they also do not have to remain distance because there is no virus also no so basically and don't do don't have youtube also netflix and all is also not there so basically they most of the if they have pen and paper basically they are mostly focused on writing books okay because they do not have any work to do then we have vasanthi jirani jirani a play by torik mitra okay then a tamil language novel muru kosunthu sorry for pronunciation mang uh, mangai okay so then in 2000 a book life of pi by canadian author yan martel decides to sell his zoo this is not the life of pi of imran uh, of that actor no um, imran khan uh, irfan khan sorry so so this is another uh, like book the graphic novel delhi kam by vishwa uh, jyoti ghosh of 2010 so the effects of emergency such that even in 2010 10 or even now the there are many like um, in has affected the culture ha huh? so uh, the some films have also been meant made okay 
so first is gulzar's andi of 1975 so it was banned because the film was supposedly based on indira gandhi okay so then you have um, this one kissa kursi ka okay the story of the chair maybe relating to indira gandhi only i haven't seen the film so it was a movie of amrit nahata nahata okay a bold spoof of emergency where shabana azmi plays shabana azmi you know no if she was a famous like actress janta public a mute dumb protagonist then you have yama gola of 1977 it's a telugu film is johar you do not need to watch uh, these films films you can watch one movie if you are very interested then is johar's 1978 bollywood film nasbandi then although sat uh, sorry satyajit ray hirak rajar deshe okay so it's a children's comedy movie so these were some positives also you can say that nice nice movies were made and people were can where people can do time pass and all so malayalam movie yathra then malayalam piravi then hazaro khwaish hai aisi 2005 okay by sudhir mishra where he tries to portray the growth of nexalite movement okay nexalite movement that means uh left wing extremism those all kind of things red corridor you know no movement during the emergency the movie tells the story of the three youngsters in the 1970s where india was undergoing massive social and political changes so uh, that is emergency in 2012 a marathi movie shala shala or sh- shala okay issues then midnight children of 19 2012 it was a adaptation of Raj- uh, rashid's novel okay okay this film was not shown at the international film festival of india okay then we okay then then you have indo sarkar 2017 a political thriller film about the emergency directed by madhur bhandarkar so then you have 29 months of hell that a documentary film about the torture methods performed by police so you can if you're interested you can go and watch the movie it, uh, the title is looking nice 21 months of hell so what i would recommend is you use that watch any one movie out of all these movie if you are really really interested in knowing about the emergency and i haven't watched any movie so you can watch okay then we have sarpatta parambarai this one is this one is 2021 tamil language sports film so basically 45 50 years okay fifth we are coming close to 50 years of emergency okay 45 50 years so so basically the effects of emergency have been such that even today also we can see that movies and novels have been made upon based upon those things okay so what uh, i mean to say is that this was the end of my discussion so what do you think uh, my question to you is you can write down in the comment section was emergency really required you can write yes and if it was not required then you can write no okay so only whether you are interested you if you are if you think emergency was needed during that time because emergency imposed many positive uh, aspects also no opened like one lesson that according to me personally it gave is that never try to impose emergency again okay that was the biggest lesson okay and there was congress got split okay then you know don't know that in after 1980s in, in during 1980s indira gandhi again came to power so these were f- few positive aspects also but negatively also it affected so what do you think if you if you think it is it was good then you write yes and if it was bad you write no so that's all for today friends i hope you really enjoyed the session uh, thank you very much friends thank you uh, have a nice day